Welcome to our Mass for this 12th Sunday of, East, of Ordinary Time, I should say. We're going to begin by singing Lee Kindly Light. Um, and if you have a hymn book at home, it's number 348. celebrate our Holy Mass this 12th Sunday of Ordinary Time. And our Mass is being offered for the peoples of our parishes. As we gather together around the Lord's table, let us as always pause for a few moments and invite the love and the mercy of God into our hearts and our minds. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendour of the Father. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy upon us. May he forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life.
Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us, you take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, that we may always revere and love your holy name, for you never deprive of your guidance those you set firm on the foundation of your love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Jeremiah. I hear so many disparaging me terror from every side, denounce him, let us denounce him. All those who used to be my friends watched for my downfall. Perhaps he will be seduced into error. Then we will master him and take our revenge. But the Lord is at my side, a mighty hero, my opponents will stumble, mastered, confounded by their failure. Everlasting, unforgettable disgrace will be theirs. But you, Lord of hosts, you who probe with justice, who scrutinise the loins and heart, let me see the vengeance you will take on them. For I have committed my cause to you. Sing to the Lord, praise the Lord, for he has delivered the soul of the needy from the hands of evil men. This is the word of the Lord. I will take the cup 
of St. Paul to the Romans. Sin entered the world through one man, and through sin, death, and thus death has spread through the whole human race, because everyone has sinned. Sin existed in the world long before the law was given. There was no law, and so no one could be accused of the sin of law-breaking. Yet death reigned over all from Adam to Moses, even though their sin, unlike that of Adam, was not a matter of breaking a law. Adam prefigured the one to come, but the gift itself considerably outweighed the fall. If it is certain that through one man's fall so many died, it is even more certain that divine grace coming through the one man, Jesus Christ, came to so many as an abundant free gift. The word of the Lord. reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus instructed the twelve as follows. Do not be afraid, for everything that is now covered will be uncovered, and everything now hidden will be made clear. What I say to you in the dark, tell in the daylight. What you hear in whispers, proclaim from the housetops. Do not be afraid of those who kill the body but cannot kill the soul. Fear him rather who can destroy both body and soul in hell. Can you not buy two sparrows for a penny, and yet no, not one falls to the ground without your father knowing? Why, every hair on your head has been counted, so there is no need to be afraid. You are worth more than hundreds of sparrows. So if anyone declares himself for me in the presence of men, I will declare myself for him in the presence of my Father in heaven. But the one who disowns me in the presence of men, I will disown in the presence of my Father in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ.
I've just finished reading a novel by Peter May called I'll Keep You Safe. And it's about a couple called Neve and Rory McFarlane who live on the Outer Hebrides island of Lewis and they had their own tweed business. The book begins by them going to Paris to promote their luxury brand. And just after they arrived, Rory is in a car which is blown up by a, a, a car bomb. Although he was actually pulled out of the car seconds before the bomb went off. And so he missed the worst of the blast. But he was anxious to find out who was trying to kill him. And so he went off in search of the person. His wife Neve thought he was dead and was bereft. And after spending some time in Paris, went back to her home island in the Outer Hebrides. But while she was in Paris and when she was at home, she felt this presence around her. Sometimes she felt as though somebody was following her, or there was a shadow in the background. And as we come to the end of the book, somebody tries to kill Neve. And all of a sudden, a shadow comes from the background and saves her life. And that person was her husband, Rory. Whilst he was searching for the person who was trying to kill him, he still kept a very close eye, both in Paris and on the Isle of Lewis, on his wife. He was the one who was following her and watching over her. And he says to her, I promised I would keep you safe. And that's what God promises us, that he will keep us safe. But not necessarily safe for this world. God wants to keep us safe for eternity. In our first reading, we find the prophet Jeremiah going through so many problems. All his friends have turned against him. He feels very down, but he doesn't despair. For he looks upon his Lord as a mighty hero. He says, Lord God of hosts, you probe with justice. You scrutinise the loins of the heart. Sing to the Lord, praise the Lord. For he has delivered the soul of the needy. In the Gospel we have Jesus speaking to his disciples. He doesn't hope back and says that they will face many problems. Many people will try to persecute them. But he tells them not to be afraid. Twice, twice in the Gospel passage he says, do not be afraid. He says, do not be afraid of those who kill the body, but cannot kill the soul. Fear him rather who can de destroy both body and soul in hell. And at the gospel, Jesus, at the end of the gospel, Jesus says, But the one who disowns me in the presence of men, I will disown in, in the presence of my Father in heaven. But if anyone declares himself for me in the presence of men, I will declare myself for him in the presence of my Father in heaven. Like those first disciples, we too go through many difficult times. We're going through one at the moment as we try to deal with the pandemic. But we are going through difficulty today in so many different ways. And sometimes even our friends may turn against us because of our belief. But Jesus calls us to stand firm, 
and not to be afraid. Before, because he is keeping us safe. As he told his disciples that just before he went back to his father, I will be with you always, yes, until the end of time. And so the Lord shares our pains and our sorrows, our happiness and our joys. God is with us through all of that. So let us not be afraid. Let us renew our faith in Jesus today because he has promised to keep us safe and one day to bring us home to his heavenly kingdom. And now let us say the Apostles' Creed together. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. For the Church that we may be a witness to Christ's love by practicing charity and goodwill and promoting equality, justice and peace throughout the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our government leaders and for those of every nation, that they may bring an end to war and violence and support policies that reflect Christ's protection of the weak, the poor and the vulnerable. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those burdened with poverty, abuse and injustice, may we as a community seek ways to promote respect, hope and dignity. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our treasured National Health Service, committed to caring for those suffering the effects of COVID-19, may they find the strength and courage to continue as guardians of our health and safety. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. After their period of study, those of our parishioners seeking confirmation should have been celebrating the sacrament. Pray that they do not have to wait much longer and it will mark for them the continuation of their faith journey. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are sick or poorly and for all those in hospital, May they recover and enjoy good health once again. For all those who have died, may they sleep forever in the peace of Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In the silence of our hearts, we pray for our own special intentions. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And now let us entrust our prayers to the intercession of our Blessed Lady, as we say together, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Heavenly Father, we ask you to listen to our prayers, or those we have spoken aloud, and those that we hold in the silence of our hearts. And we pray that what we ask with faith, we may be worthy to receive, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And now our offertory hymn, if you want to follow it in your hymn book, will be number 40, Amazing Grace.
Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and for the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation and praise, and grant that, cleansed by its action, we may, we may make offering of a heart pleasing to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For through his paschal mystery, he accomplished a marvellous deed by which he has freed us from the yoke of sin and death, summing in us to the glory of being now called a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for your own possession, to proclaim everywhere your mighty works, for you have called us out of darkness into your own wonderful light. And so with the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and confess your resurrection until you come again, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one, by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your Church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Mark our Bishop, and all your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. And now in spiritual communion, let us share with each other a sign of peace. Peace be with you.
Lamb of God, Lamb of God, you take away, you take away the sins of the sins of the world. The world. Miserere nobis, miserere nobis, bread of life, bread of life, you take away, you take away. Sins of the world, the world. Miserere nobis, miserere nobis. On your stay, on your stay, you take away, you take away the sins of the sins of the world, the world. Donna nobis. Him. Donna nobis pacem, Donna nobis pacem. Lord Jesus Christ, not bring me to judgment and condemnation, but through your loving mercy be for me protection in mind and body and the healing of Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Communion hymn is number 677.
Please now join me in saying the prayer for all those who are in spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in this holy sacrament of the altar. I love you above all things, and I passionately desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my soul, so that I may unite myself wholly to you, now and forever. Amen. Let us pray. Renewed and nourished by the sacred body and precious blood of your Son, we ask your mercy, O Lord, that what we celebrate with constant devotion may be our sure pledge of redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you for our Mass together this morning. Do have a good week. Look after yourselves and stay safe. And as always, let us keep each other in our prayers. Our final hymn after our blessing is number 156. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Oh